Alright, to get started, let's select our video clip on the timeline. Then go up to the Color tab, which will open up the Lumetri Color Panel. In here, open up HSL Secondary. Next to Set Color, select the first eyedropper tool. And then in your preview, select part of the person's skin so we can isolate those colors. Okay, now before you do anything else, make sure you uncheck the Saturation and Luminance options. Then check the Color Slash Gray checkbox so we can see our selection at all times. Alright, next let's drag the middle of this hue slider so that we get almost everything but the skin color and things like the beach that are colored like the skin. Then use the top and bottom arrows on the slider to make further adjustments. Once you're satisfied with your selection, click the invert button to select the skin colored objects. If you get some annoying speckles like this, you can try to refine your selection with the denoise and blur sliders. Finally, let's uncheck color slash gray so we'll be able to see our result for the next step. Alright, now under correction, drag the middle point towards teal to give everything but your skin colors a teal tint. Okay, I think this looks good, but let's fix it up a little more by going over to the effects panel. In the search box, type Lumetri Color and drag it onto your clip so we have another copy of Lumetri Color to work with. Now, in our Lumetri Color effect, let's open up the curves. Scroll down until you see the Luma vs. Saturation one. Click to create a point near the second vertical line, and then click to create another point on the far left side. Drag the leftmost point all the way down, which will help to make your shadows look better. Okay, you might be fine with this how it is, but if you want to mess with the skin tones a bit, scroll up the Hue vs. Saturation. Click to create a point between purple and red, yellow and green, and orange and red. Drag the point between orange and red down to desaturate your skin tones, or drag it up to bring them out more. Alright, I really like how this looks now. That's it for me, so thanks for watching and see you next time.